YouTubers and welcome back to another video this one featuring the QSI Titan emulator decoder uh, just for sake of clarification the QSI Titan is the uh, hardware the actual decoder and the emulator what QSI is calling E3 is the software that you download into the locomotive so for clarification the Titan is really the hardware portion and the E3 is the software that you download uh, this uh, uh, Titan is featuring the new uh, EMD 567 sound file from uh, QSI. They released uh, this about six or eight weeks ago, and the Titan uh, was original. The Titan decoder was originally uh, released about 18 months ago, and then uh, QSI started rolling out the new emulation software uh, sometime this past spring. And you can see one of my previous videos uh, featuring the Alco 244. Anyways, this one's uh, featuring the new E3 EMD 567 motor sound file from QSI. I've got the decoder installed in a Proto 2000 E8 from the uh, 20th century uh, 20th century limited series uh, from a few years ago. Super smooth running locomotive. Uh, I did change up the uh, speaker configuration inside the locomotive. I uh, took out the original soundboard uh, from QSI, installed the Titan, then I removed a, uh, both uh, round speakers in the locomotive. I installed a slightly higher quality uh, 1.22 inch round speaker in the front and then I installed a 1.22 inch high bass speaker in the rear uh, to kind of get some of that uh, lower bass area uh, sounds out of the uh, out of the new software file from QSI. The uh, train it's pulling is roughly uh, eight uh, heavyweight and lightweight cars and then I've got about another uh, half a dozen uh, express cars on the front end so a um, fairly uh, good load on the locomotive and I want to demonstrate some of the um, operating uh, characteristics of this new decoder. I've got a fair amount of uh, momentum built in and you're gonna and a slight grade and curve that this train is going to be going around so uh, I'm going to kind of uh, operate it as pretty typically as I can, uh, something uh, similar to how I used to operate a real uh, locomotive. And the uh, the nice thing about this new E3 technology from QSI uh, is, is that you can throttle uh, up and down uh, using a continuous notching. So meaning that I can go from neutral, uh, put it into uh, run one, and then I can run it all the way up into eight without going through individual uh, speed notch or uh, individual throttle notches. Uh, it just goes from one to eight, just like they, just like you do on the real thing. So, uh, anyways, guys, enough of me uh, talking. Uh, let's uh, show what this thing can do. All right, guys, here we go. And uh, just as an aside, I've got the uh, camera located about 12 feet from the locomotive, so. Uh, you get a pretty good idea of the volume and uh, clarity of this and obviously as the locomotive gets closer to the mic uh, you'll get increased sound. Anyways, here we go.
So there you go guys, uh, just a um, brief demo. Uh, you can see how that uh, momentum is uh, naturally taken up by the decoder. Um, so in, on different grades, different weights, the actual software used in this emulation um, is really pretty cool uh, depending upon the grade, uh, how much uh, weight you've got behind the locomotive. Um, it really changes the uh, operating characteristics of the uh, locomotive. Anyways guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed and be back soon with you with more stuff.